video to help you as you work through your Canvas challenge. Um, one of the more difficult challenges that you're going to work on actually comes straight out of the gate. It's challenge number two, and that's where you design your own um, course homepage. And the reason that can be difficult is because you're starting from a blank canvas. Remember we talked about it's great, but it makes it a little more difficult not having a template because you have to design it yourself. So I'm going to show you the simplest way to get your course um, homepage designed. Um, remember, you can start from scratch and make everything on your own if you want to, um, but I have helped you by creating some templates that you can use um, to make your course homepage. It'll really expedite the process. If you're a person who has a lot going on, which who doesn't, or um, a person who just isn't real um, comfortable trying to figure all of this new stuff out at once. So here's what you're going to do. Um, what you're going to do is go to Commons in um, Canvas. And remember, Commons is kind of like our My Big Campus library. Um, only, instead of having to share everything publicly, you can share things privately with just yourself or even with people in Yorktown Community Schools, or we even can get subcategories to make that um, different departments and grade levels. So what you're going to do when you go into Commons up here at the top, you're going to go to Shared With, because any of the resources I've shared, <clears throat> I've shared with Yorktown Community Schools. So if you click on Yorktown Community Schools, and there's only just a few there right now, see I'm just getting started too, um, there you're going to find the course um, homepage examples and templates here. So here's a secondary course homepage template. Here's the course home um, page, the course setup example. It's more, um, it's not as generic, so you won't want to use that one. It's good to look at, but you won't want to use that one. And then here's the elementary example. This is one you can use and edit as well. So we're going to go to the secondary course homepage template and open that up. You can see that it's a page because it's got this little page icon here. And what you need to do is get it from the commons to the course you want it in. So I'm going to import into course and a list of all of my courses is going to come up here. And you're going to select the course you want. So I'm going to put it, throw it into this practice course and you'll see a message that says you've started the import. And it acts like it's going to take it a little bit, but it really doesn't. It pretty much goes right in there. So what you're going to do then is go back. just into Canvas, and you're going to go to that course that you selected. So I selected this practice course. See, it's very generic. I haven't done anything with it yet. And then you're going to go into Pages, because since that was a page, remember that little page icon? That's where the import put it. It put it into a page. Had it been a module, it would have imported it into modules. Um, that's how Canvas works. Whatever it's designed as, that's where it goes into your um, course navigation. So here you see that secondary homepage template. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up now. And you see there's my little notes there to remember to remind you what you need to have. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go into the Rich Content Editor. And when you get to here, you'll see it just works like Microsoft Word. I mean, it's it works. If you know how to use Microsoft Word, you can use this. It's really easy. So what you'll want to do is take off my notes. They're good for you, but not good for everyone else to see. Um, and you're going to want to change anything that doesn't apply to you. So I'm going to take these notes off. I'm going to add a course description. Course I cheated. Um, I don't know a course description for High School English 101. So we're just going to steal that for... So I'll have something. So there's my course description. I have to include my, the instructor name. That's one of the things. And if you refer to that YCS quality course design checklist, you'll see all of the things that you need to have as well. But these templates pretty much have it all. You can link your syllabus here, or you can link it over to the side onto this um, actual um, navigation link. You can do it both places, um, whatever you want to do there. Um, then you're going to decide. Remember, we talked about secondary teachers. You kind of have some options here. Um, we're going to, you're going to decide how students are going to access your information. And any of these three ways is fine, whatever you're most comfortable with. Maybe they'll just click on the course calendar to get their content and you'll attach everything within that. That's fine as long as everybody knows you're doing that. Maybe you'll design by unit and, or module basically and you'll attach your modules here. 
Maybe you'll design by lesson, which could be a page or a module. Totally up to you. For the purposes of this example, I'm going to go with um, by current unit here. And then these links down here, these buttons, um, they are all required as part of that checklist. So I'm going to leave all of those there. And remember, it is important, we didn't talk about this a whole lot, that you do put that grade disclaimer down there because Canvas grades may not necessarily match those in PowerSchool. So it's important that you um, are sure that folks know that, just so they know. Okay, now, if you don't teach English and you are trying to edit this page, you are not going to want this banner up here. The thing is, you can't edit it because it's an image. So I'm going to show you how to make your own banner. This is also the same way you make your own buttons. Um, I'm going to show you the simplest way. Now there is a way you can make all kinds of fancy buttons and um, and that's awesome if you want to do that, take the time to do that. But simple buttons is what I'm going to focus on today. The best way I found to do that is to use um, your favorite type of presentation software. So I use Keynote on my Mac, but PowerPoint would work the same way. And I honestly just created a presentation where all my canvas buttons are so that I can manipulate those. And um, if I ever need to go back and make an, a, diff a different, have them say something different, but within the same course, I have all my patterns here. So you're gonna start with a blank screen and I'm gonna make a banner to go with the course that I just designed. So what you're gonna do is select a shape. So for a banner, um, you're probably going to want um, the square and then you can stretch that out to make it into a rectangle shape. If you're an elementary teacher, I use the circle for your course buttons, um, so you can use that as well. So you're going to make that banner. You can change the color over here. So I did that. Then you can even layer, and that looks kind of nice sometimes, um, to layer a shape on top of a shape and kind of make it, give it a little more depth. So I'll go ahead and do that. It's really simple to do. You can layer with shapes. Or, let's see here. You can layer with pictures. So here's that same English graphic that I found earlier. So if I didn't want to use two boxes, I could use this one instead. Layer it up there. You can add text. So I'll just insert a text box. You obviously want to play with your size a little bit to make sure that it's it looks good aesthetically. And you can even add oops, there. So it takes just a few minutes to play around with this. It really doesn't take all that long. And you want it to be exactly how you'd like it to look. So you're going to take some time to do that. Get rid of this extra text box here. Okay. So now that I have my banner designed the way I'd like it, what you're going to do then is you can do this in a couple ways. On a PC, you're probably going to want to right click on it and save that image to your desktop. I find it easy on my Mac just to take a screenshot of what I want. You need whatever it is you build to be together in one image. Okay, so now that just went to my desktop. Now what I'm going to do is go back into my course and I'm going to insert content to the page. So I want to put my banner on this page I'm designing. So I'm going to go to images. That's my old one, don't get confused. I'm gonna upload a new image. And when you take a screenshot, it always falls to your the last one. So that's when it makes it easier to find. So it's kind of nice. Select it and then upload it. And in, once you upload an image, it's there forever. So I can delete it off my desktop now and it's still in my 
canvas. So when I get that all done, I will hit save. And now my secondary course homepage is, I mean, that's good. That's fine. That's a simple way to design a course homepage. That doesn't take a whole lot of time, but is, um, it certainly meets the requirements for us. Now, um, there's ways to start linking your things to it. So remember I said I wanted to link by current unit. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go um, into, back into my um, course. I'm going to open a different tab here. And I'm going to go to modules this time because this is where my um, content is. And I'm going to go to the first page of my module. If you link, if I would have linked from here, it would take the kids to the module page. Um, I want to not do that. I want to link from the first content of that module. So that opens right away. And you'll see they'll get that next button here. And then if you want to do a link, again, go into Rich Content Editor, find the button you want to link, which is that one. Click on this little link, linky thing here. Paste it in and your link will work. So that is really um, the basic way to design your course homepage. You wanna get crazy and you'll make pages for each of these things. You can link those and get started on that right away. Again, we are going to have sessions that walk you through really fine tuning and designing and making your course homepage functional. But I did wanna throw this video out there for you because I know this is one of the more difficult challenges and sometimes it just helps to hear it explained a different way. So. Let me know if you have any questions, and thanks again for working so hard um, to get Canvas up and running at the beginning of the school year.